India, and it seems to be a first step towards disenfranchising them. Because when you ask them to produce paper... Oh, one second, one second, one second. Thank you, thank yes. you. No, 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 one second, one second, one second. You see, unfortunately for you, you have couched yourself in what I call lines of deniability. Did you see the words used, Anand, by this gentleman here? He said, it seems to me <laughs> that it could be Ar Arnab, Arnab, the first we, step towards disenfranchising Muslims. Can we request some beer, please? I mean, You're I mean, the I mean look at him out there. Anand? No, 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 one second. Did you see what he said? The you know, unfortunately, is it is for people like Dr. Andrabi Arnab, who get quoted. Have been he knows nothing lies about the scene. For three months. Three straight months. <laughs> three months they've been peddling nothing but lies. <coughs> and, uh, you know, I don't think they're going to stop. They're in love with their own voices and their own intelligence. It is embarrassing no, to listen to them more, again and the again. The question but, is know, more fundamental. Because I don't know how many times... No, the question is more fundamental. And, and, and therefore, therefore, I'd, therefore, I'd like to invite Sushant. Sushant, the gentleman in question says, sitting with abundant confidence in, in, in London, that it appears to him that the CAA might be a way to disenfranchise Muslims. He has no idea. He's not read the act. He's a classical no, example so of someone sitting in another country not without any act. iota of information. He's not read the CAA. He's not read the CAA. He knows nothing about it. Tell me, Dr. Andrabi, may I proceed he to intellectually guillotine you? Have you read yes, neither a draft read the CAA of the and CAA if he has, by any that you're talking it, he about? He hasn't understood it. Have you, Dr. Andrabi, no, read I, the CAA? I, yes, yes to, the, to the extent that I can make an opinion on it, I have read it, I have heard it. It has been covered by Indian media. I, I'm so and sorry, I, I'm so sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, sorry. I, 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 Dr. Andrabi, so he has Dr. Andrabi, that. I will have to. No, 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 look at this. No, 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 I'll give you a classic example. You see, this man, Sushant, let me introduce you. He says, and he claims to be director of the London Institute for Politics. What a highfalutin designation you have, sir. In any case, let me tell you, you have proceeded to tweet. Can I tell you, Sushant, what he tweeted? He tweeted on February 17th, a cheapy startup with no history before 1947. India is behaving like a rogue state, all in the name of democracy and nonviolence. He calls India a cheapy startup with no history before 1947. And he says India is yes. behaving like a rogue state, all in the name of democracy and nonviolence. And he now therefore confesses not to have any information on the basis.